autumn is coming to an end now. I'm taking a walk along the driveway and just looking at everything because it was a fresh day today and I felt I needed some fresh air. The trees are losing all their leaves and winter's bringing its coat over them. And tomorrow morning is going to be cold, about four degrees in the morning. That's four degrees Celsius. I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit. Everything is just starting to lose their color. And these redwoods are so majestic. They are so beautiful. How many years they've been like this, they can tell a tale. So let's see what he's up to. He's been working on it since Monday. Wow, you've done so much, Will. He's done all the way up there. All the rendering has fallen down. And now he's scraped this up and he's doing this wall. It's nearly the whole wall that has to be done, Will. Wow. It's terrible. But this is the worst side of the house, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You said you wanted to show me something else. Here's, here's the big bits of... Yeah, let's go and have a look. Goodness, look at these big pieces that have fallen down. Uh, wow, that is amazing. And so this is the walls, it's just, it just pulls away. But if you can see it, look, the ivy's growing in there. Look at that, it just falls away. I just, I just touch it. Not even hard. Look at that. And look how this ivy has crept from underneath it. The ivy looks so beautiful, but it's so dangerous. It's evil for a house, especially a house this size. Look at all the ivy growing here. So this is the worst side of it all. Yeah. yeah. So once this has been done, because of the dampness, the library won't be smelling so musty. But yeah. it's much better now, yeah. but it's, it's the mustiness that has been coming through. Yeah. Well, and you were telling me something about another house that you were rendering. You had to uh, replace the wall. I know, just taking the ivy off the wall and off the wall collapsed and she worked his way into the middle. Wade into it. But if you recall, downstairs in my cellar, all the roots of the ivy was that whole section of part of the cellar. Oh, good, good, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. all came through and we've destroyed that now. It was like a, like a monster going down into the property. Yeah, Look at easy. that, yeah. But that's dead now. Yeah. We just have to pull that off. Wow. So then Monday and Tuesday, you're going to finish this off. Uh -huh. Finish the end off. Yeah. And see how far we get. Yeah. Because you've only got a few more days to work on this. I've got Monday and Tuesday. Monday, yeah. Tuesday. Do you think you can finish it? Possibly not. That's a big, that was the biggest part of the rendering. Because we've got right up top there. Right up top there has to be 
rendered as well. Well, we'll get as far as we can, Will. Yeah. I can't believe it. Those chunks of rendering that has fallen down. The water and the ivy that's got into it. Well, lesson learned. Don't put ivy near your house. Nice and cozy in the kitchen here today and I've made some pasta with vegetables sauce that I'm going to fry up and that's busy cooking with parmesan cheese so yep yeah, that's what I'm doing I love making pastas so I've got the table set and everything's ready Mr. Bruin's getting ready to come upstairs, clean the loft and insulate it and spray it with xylophene and do the insulation and repair the loft window that has broken. And we'll just put new tiles over it, uh, take it out and re-roof it. So this is what's happening today. The that are being thrown out were in the loft, right at the top of the attic, under the roof. And I'll use that for firewood because they're so rotten and woodwormed. So they're busy cleaning up there now. Well, Will has managed to do all this up until there. And the day ran out yesterday and today is just too cold to continue but there seems to be a bit of a gap next week possibly he can fill that in and then I think at the top there we will do that next year get that sorted the scaffolding's down over here and all that has been done right to there. So this wall's practically finished. It's all been done. And it's looking really nice. And then we'll color it all the same color as the rendering next year. So that's a big job that needs to be done. But we're getting there slowly. Scaffolding's on the floor. He hasn't taken his tools because he's going to come next week and try and finish that patch there and do some work inside the house uh, in the chateau. I keep calling it the house. I'm so used to living in the house. Yeah. chilly day today it's about five degrees this morning and it's really really chilly so this morning when I woke up it was about one degree winter's really setting in now well everybody I've just come in from the cold it's been really cold I've got the fire going and um, I'm going to be making some um, salmon 
with uh, hand cut potatoes um chips i'm gonna make that nicely with a salad uh, we're gonna have that for lunch and yeah it's just too cold outside i don't like it it's about four or five degrees so um i'm going to call it a day because i want to upload this for tonight and I want to thank everybody who gave me such wonderful comments um, because I repeated the bedroom, the main bedroom. I call it the master bedroom, but I suppose it's politically correct, whichever way you want to choose it. I'm sorry, whatever I said. Um, it's just the way it is. <laughs> so, yes. Um, then what I will do is I'll catch you next week and share everything that's been happening with you then. Thank you, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.